Hi, I'm Greg, and you're watching DIYPoolPlans.com. I don't expect that you're going to know how to build a pool, but we're going to teach you how to manage your subcontractors. And it starts right here with this checklist. Today, in this video, we will cover the inspection checklist for plaster and startup, and you'll get a first-hand look at how a pool is built and what it looks like when we're all finished. On plaster day, make sure to verify the color and material before it goes in. Have your plaster subcontractor give you a sample of the material before it goes in to make sure it matches the color you want. Verify that the color of all the plastic going in the pool are the color that you want. Also verify that your umbrella holders or any other special fittings are going to be installed and again are the color that you want. Ask your plaster subcontractor if he can remove the pipes from the skimmer before they start. pool must be filled continuously until the water reaches the middle of the tile line. Do not stop the water at any point in time and never use the autofill to fill the pool. At startup, verify that all equipment works and that the lights and GFI work. Remember, most pool builders don't actually build swimming pools. They manage subcontractors to build each phase of the pool. With DIY pool plans by your side, we're going to guide you through the process of managing subcontractors to build your pool. Thanks for watching. DIYPoolPlans.com.